In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for FeNO3 3 plus LiOH, iron 3 nitrate plus lithium hydroxide. So first we need to balance the molecular equation. I can see that right here I have three nitrates and only one here. So I'm just going to put a three in front of the lithium nitrate. Now I've got three lithiums, so and only one here. Let's put a three here, three hydroxides. But over here I have three hydroxides, so they're good. And then one iron and one iron. Everything's balanced. So that's the molecular equation. Now we write the state for each substance. So you need to know your solubility rules to do this. Nitrates, very soluble. A little AQ, that'll dissolve, dissociate into its ions. Lithium hydroxide, strong base, that'll dissociate. We have another nitrate here, aqueous. But when I see hydroxides bonded to transition metals, I'm a little cautious. I want to check and see. Usually they're insoluble. Let's take a look at a solubility chart just to see. So on our chart, we find iron 3 right here and across the top, the negative ions. We go down and over and that I. That I means that iron 3 hydroxide is insoluble in water, won't dissolve in water. Because of that, it's going to be a solid. We write S. These two substances react. We get this solid, falls to the bottom of the test tube in a precipitation reaction. Now that we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So iron, we don't know the charge on that, but we know that the nitrate ion, that's always 1 minus. Good one to remember. 3 times 1 minus, that's 3 minus, has to be 3 plus. So we have iron 3 plus and I won't write the states now. Let's do that at the end. Three of these nitrate ions. So three NO3 minus for the nitrate ions. Lithium group one on the periodic table, one plus the hydroxide ion, always one minus. Three lithium ions. And then three of the hydroxide ions. And those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we have lithium and the nitrate ion. So three lithium ions again, and then three nitrate ions. For the iron three hydroxide, it's a solid. We don't split solids apart in net ionic equations, so it just stays the same. It's just iron three hydroxide altogether. That's the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed and we're really not interested in them. So I'm looking for things that are the same in the reactants and the products. Here's three nitrate ions in the reactants and in the products. We can get rid of that. Three lithium ions in the reactants and in the products. Those go. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for iron three nitrate plus lithium hydroxide. I'll clean this up and write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for iron 3 nitrate plus lithium hydroxide. You note charge is conserved. We have a 3 plus here, 3 times the 1 minus, that's 3 minus. They balance out net charge of 0. We have a neutral compound over here, net charge of 0 as well. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for FeNO3 3 plus LiOH. Thanks for watching.